Hello everybody and thanks for joining us today on the Oakland Car Review. Today we have a very exciting car review for us. We have the 2014 Kia Soul, one of Kia's most exciting vehicles from its lineup. Very vibrant, very fresh and very interesting vehicle. Lots of technologically advanced features packed straight into the vehicle. We have keyless entry, push to start, navigation, heated and cooled seats and a whole lot of other hosts of features. Now as you can see, he has really done an interesting job with the Soul. They really also updated the whole front end and rear end look of the vehicle for 2014. They made a car that was this, you know, an entry level, you know, sort of four door, very small SUV. They made it into something very exciting, something that has some soul, as Kia would say. We have a ton of different exterior paint colors and choices options for you. On the interior as well, we have uh, just a whole host of different features, which is what really makes this car interesting. It's an inexpensive, customizable vehicle, more so than other cars available on the market today. And with a starting price of around $14,700, you can get yourself into a 2014 Kia Soul for a very reasonable price. It's also a very efficient vehicle and fun to drive with the larger available engine. So now let's go on the interior and see what kind of features we have in there. Today we're in the 2014 Kia Soul. Now this car is really an exciting vehicle at low starting price. Lots of interesting tech features going on here. So many different color combinations on the exterior as well as interior. It really makes this car very exciting, honestly, to, to be in and be a part of and drive in. So, you know, we have this fantastic multimedia system right here. Um, as you can see, we have our HD radio, a nice big screen, very easy to view and see. Um, of course, as I said, you know, we have our radio button right here. We have AM, FM, we have the Sirius satellite radio. And then, you know, it's a very nice, easy to use touch screen. It just, you know, it flows very nicely, very smooth to use. And then we have our media, we have our Bluetooth streaming, which is great, really nice feature, of course. We wouldn't expect anything less from a high-tech Kia vehicle like, like we're in here today. We have our maps, button, very nice navigation system, extremely easy to use, very easy to find destinations. Um, you know, I just couldn't really say anything better about this. It's one of the easiest systems to use, one of the most responsive systems. Couldn't ask for anything better. You know, just you know, classic, you know, high-end setup from Kia. You wouldn't expect anything less. You know, great setup, nice, big, bold, you know, phone number letters you can go through right there. And then, of course, our info, we have Pandora, which we can stream, and then, of course, our uh, climate info and data and such. Heated and cooled seats in the sole that we are in right here, which is a really nice luxury feature. We a lot of times see on your Mercedes Benz and BMWs, but here we're in a $24,000 Kia Soul and we have heated and cooled seats and a heated steering wheel, if you can believe that. So that's really nice and exciting, of course, too. Heated steering wheel is definitely something to, to be kind of excited about, honestly, especially in the cold weather uh, months that uh, you may experience in your soul. Um, coming over here to the steering wheel, it's sort of an Audi resemblance here with the steering wheel. We have all of our buttons and knobs, cruise control, volume control. We have our hands-free calling buttons, of course, and then we also have our different drive modes. We have three different drive modes. On the steering wheel, there's a button right here that says mode. All you do ahead is just press it. We have our normal mode, we have our comfort mode, and we have our sport mode. And we just go through, it changes the steering. Nothing with the suspension, it's not quite that high tech, but it does change the steering. The steering is obviously a lot easier to use. You know, when we're going in the comfort mode versus the sport mode where it really stiffens up the steering and makes it, uh, you know, much, much uh, stiffer and, and more responsive to, to our driving conditions. So that's a nice feature, of course, right there. Um, we have the Infinity sound system, premium sound system in this vehicle. Um, we have these nice, uh, almost pancake-like um, little speakers on the top of our air vents, which give it a you know, very interesting look on the interior here. We have a big speaker up front. So, you know, lots of nice surround sound going on. Very clear, crisp audio from the speakers here that are delivered. Now, let's go for a little drive and uh, see how it goes. Push to start, of course. We don't expect anything less. And then we have our rear view backup camera, which is nice. Um, no guidance lines, though, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it's a small car, already easy to see out of in the first place. So you really shouldn't have any troubles naturally um, going and driving around uh, without the guidance lines. So let's get down to the details with the most important part, and that is how this vehicle drives. So powering the specific Soul we are in is the larger engine. It is the two liter four cylinder 
producing around 160 horsepower. You know, not a lot of power, obviously, 160, not all that much. However, we are getting about 21 to 22 MPG city and around low to mid 30s on the highway, which is really good. And it still, you know, has a pretty nice little get up and go a scenario to it. So, you know, it's kind of a nice, you know, a little gives a little bit of a sporty feeling with the larger engine. We also have a 1.6 liter four cylinder, which um, bumps the horsepower down to about 130. So, yeah, I would stick with the larger engine. It's not all that much more expensive, and will provide you a lot more fun, guaranteed on the roads for sure. Um, so, you know, overall, with the different steering driving dynamics that you can choose from here, with all of our different drive modes, the little engine that produces you know, a decent amount of horsepower, still giving you good fuel economy. Um, you know, overall, the driving dynamics are you know, very good. So, you know, good steering, good brakes, um, decent acceleration from the larger engine, good fuel economy. You know, it's kind of a, this is a nice little package. You couldn't really ask for anything more than uh, what, they've, what they've given you here uh, in this vehicle. Now, as far as the interior goes, as far as comfort, very comfortable seats. We have these nice leather seats in this vehicle. Very nice and plush to the touch. Um, the whole interior styling, very interesting. Now, getting into the whole Kia Soul language that Kia you know, likes to speak over there, um, we have all kinds of fun different colors that we can you know, have on this vehicle. We have you know, bright, vibrant reds, greens as we have in this car. And then we have our blacks, of course, and blues. But there's so many different color combinations that we can get. It really makes it exciting. Then the interior as well, you know, they really let you customize it how you want it. We have this dark brown and this sort of you know, cream black color that you can get. I mean, there's like, I believe there are about six different interior color combination colors that you can get, you know. It's just really fun. On the inside here, we have this gray and black interior with yellow lime stitching, uh, which is the color of our car. And so, you know, we have nice little stitching here on the steering wheel throughout the shift the knobs down there. So it really kind of, you know, it really makes you feel like you're in a more expensive car than you actually are. And now we are coming to some really exciting news. Everybody, listen up. The 2014 Kia Soul starts around $14,700. Hello. That is a great starting, low starting price for a vehicle that offers this many nice features. All the way topped out on the I believe the limited model, what have you, is around $20,400 starting price. However, you know, we add options into that. Like this is one, we are in a fully um, trimmed out, as shall we say, model. We're at around $24,000. We have every feature you could possibly want. Again, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, navigation. We have the, the sunroof here, which is actually, the roof is actually just a big piece of glass, which is, you know, really nice looking, as you can see. I'm sure, you know, it just really lets a lot of nice natural light and makes you feel very upbeat and vibrant throughout the entirety, even on a cloudier day. I mean, it's this, it's excellent. So overall, I'm very impressed with the 2014 Kia Soul for what it does and what it offers at a, at a good price. So well done, Kia. And if you're in the market for a small little um, sort of SUV type vehicle, then this is definitely one to be considered. Well, here we are below the historic Burton Memorial Tower in the pulsing heart of downtown Ann Arbor, the home of the legendary University of Michigan. I can't think of a better place to end the 2014 Kia Soul video than right here. It's so vibrant in such a downtown vibrant city like Ann Arbor. You're going to see how well it will do. As you can see, overall, Kia is a sign phenomenal job with the exterior design as well as the interior design of the 2014 Soul. And they have not forgotten you, the consumer, either with a very decent starting price around $14,700. Combine all the great features that you can get with the high-end trim level models and you'll be at no more than $25,000 with every possible feature you could ever consider in a small 
compact SUV such as the Soul. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. We hope you enjoyed this look and review of the 2014 Kia Soul. Thanks for joining us.